Now looking closer to these areas, first of all, if I'll talk about number systems, then the different elements like verbal ability, para completions, para jumbles, grammar, vocabulary will be tested. Critical reasoning, statement conclusions, syllogisms, and many more, right? So these are all the topics that you may find in logical reasoning. So identify these areas and then improve them in the remaining part of the day. 10 to 12 days. So total 10 to 12 days may logical reasoning ki preparation ho sakti hai. And then whatever time you have in your hand, you can use that time in practicing. IPMAT 2025 examination. We all know that it is a few days away from now. We are left with hardly 100 days of our preparation and the examination will be conducted in the month of May. So friends, right now, I have got this particular query from a lot of students that will it be possible to crack IPMAT examination in these 100 days left or whatever time is left with us. Now my answer to all these queries are why not? Why you can't crack this examination in whatever time you have in your hand? Because every year, every year I am teaching, I have taught plenty of students who have cracked this examination after starting their uh, preparation after board examination. Now, we still have, uh, uh, I would say that more than three months, more than four months left for this exam, right? And we need a proper study plan. We need a proper pl plan of action in order to crack this examination. Right? So friends, in this session today, in this short and crisp session today, we are going to discuss how to crack IPMAT 2025 in less than 100 days. Right? Now to crack this examination, first of all, we need to understand the syllabus. Right? So syllabus ko samajna padega hume. Agar hume syllabus hi nahi pata, then we'll not be able to do anything uh, in respect to this examination. Right? So IPMAT exam, Indore, Rohtak, JIPMAT, whatever the examination is. Now to crack any of these examinations, what all things can be tested? So I'll be showing you everything that will be tested in either I am Indore or I am Rohtak or JIPMAT examination. So let's see if I want to tackle each of these three examination. Agar mujhe sare ke sare exams ko tackle karna hai, to aaj se start karke mujhe kya kya prepare karna padega. Now first of these sections is quantitative aptitude, right? Now quantitative aptitude mein kya kya cheeze test ki jayengi. So these are different areas that will be tested in quantitative aptitude. Now looking closer to these areas, first of all, if I'll talk about number systems. So number system, we'll talk about, will give you the questions which will involve the classification of different categories of numbers, right? So they will talk about different categories of numbers. So categories of numbers like rational number, irrational number, real number, uh, complex numbers, then under rational and irrational numbers, you have different categories like even odd numbers, prime and composite numbers, Right? So you need to know each and everything about the categories, the classification of numbers. Then further they are going to talk about the different concepts of HCF and LCM, questions based on the application of these, finding the unit digit in any calculation. Alright? So these are the basic things that will be tested from number systems. Now the next important area is arithmetic. Now arithmetic will talk about uh, the concepts like percentages and the applications of percentages in profit loss discount, simple interest compound interest. After that, you will have ratios and its applications in averages, mixtures and allegations. Time speed distance and time and work, right? So arithmetic is about percentages. It is about ratios. It is about time speed distance and the questions of time and work. Now, all these things we have studied till 10 standard. We have studied 10 standard. Tak study kiya hai. Now, talking about algebra. Now, algebra, they will be talking about linear equations, quadratic equations, right? So, linear equations and quadratic equations are two most important things when it comes to algebra. Now, in the examination of IPMAT Indore, like uh, which will test us on uh, a little bit higher mathematics. So they may be giving you uh, the questions which are based on logarithms 
and higher mathematics right now talking further the next area will be geometry now from geometry you will be asked the application of triangles so questions will be based on lines and angles and triangles then circles then quadrilaterals okay they may be given you the questions on trigonometry right so trigonometry is more expected to appear in indoor rather than uh, rohtak or jipmat examination then after that they will be coordinate geometry and so on okay now next is modern mathematics modern mathematics they can talk about venn diagrams set theories right permutation and combination and probability okay and then statistics the concepts of mean median and mode and finally data interpretation in which the things can be a little calculative right so this is the entire syllabus of quantitative aptitude now moving forward to the next part which is verbal ability now verbal ability is going to be a part of again all the three examinations in verbal ability there may be questions on reading comprehensions where a passage will be given to us and the questions are asked on that then the different elements like verbal ability para completions para jumbles grammar vocabulary will be tested right so the questions will come in different form in uh, out of these areas right now after verbal ability the next section which is not there in ip mat indoor but it's a very important part equally important part for ip mat rohtak and jip mat examination is logical reasoning right now anything that involves a little bit of logic will be there in the in the section of logical reasoning so if i'll pick up uh, the previous year papers and talk about the different areas from which the questions have appeared so these are some areas that i have uh, put in this list these are not all but these are some areas from which the questions can be asked right now these areas can be broadly categorized in two parts quant based reasoning which are the questions uh, the these one so coding decoding sequence and series uh, sitting arrangements blood relations direction senses which will require a little bit of quantitative skills all right next is verbal reasoning which will require a little bit of verbal ability critical reasoning statement conclusions syllogisms and many more right so these are all the topics that you may find in logical reasoning okay now अब ये सब देख के डर तो लग रहा होगा कि यार सर ने इतने सारे टॉपिक्स बता दिए और बोल रहे हैं कि 100 डेज में इजीली प्रिपेयर हो सकता है ओके सो नाउ अगेन गो बैक एंड अंडरस्टैंड द सिलेबस सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट नोइंग द सिलेबस इट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिलेबस ऑल राइट सो इफ आई टेक यू टू द फर्स्ट सेक्शन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड यू विल थिंक एंड रियलाइज दैट वी हैव डन ईच ऑफ दीज थिंग्स up to 12th standard up to 12th standard majority of these things are covered up till 10th standard and if i talk about modern mathematics permutation combination probability fine we haven't seen it till 10th standard but we have done all these things in 11th and 12th right so whatever the syllabus is there for this examination in quantitative aptitude we have covered each and every topic each and every element in our curriculum so there is nothing new that will have to do as far as quantitative aptitude is concerned right moving on to the second section moving on to the second section which is uh, of course verbal ability so this is basic verbal skills and we have gained all these skills up till now starting from the very first day we have entered the school all right so we have solved questions on reading comprehensions we know our grammar we know our vocabulary we know nouns pronouns adjective adverbs subject verb agreement so we all know all these rules and regulations it's just that it's the repetition of whatever we have covered in all the standards put together in an entrance examination right now the third area i i agree with you that we have never been taught all these things formally in school ओके okay, तो हमने ये वाली चीजें फॉर्मली प्रैक्टिस नहीं की है बट इफ यू डिग डीपर इनटू दिस 
you don't require you don't require an in-depth analysis of all these topics now each of these topics covers uh, the fundamentals the concepts that can be dealt with in a matter of two hours or maximum three hours so every topic pe agar aap two to three hours spend karoge so half an hour will take you to understand the concept and then another one and a half to two hours of practicing questions will help you in cracking this particular section of the examination right so hardly there will be 15 to 20 topics in reasoning that will not take more than 10 to 12 days so total 10 to 12 days may logical reasoning ki preparation ho sakti hai and then whatever time you have in your hand you can use that time in practicing all right so you have 100 days i am telling you that quant or verbal to aapne pehle se padha hua hai reasoning ko hardly syllabus complete karne mein one week to 10 days lagenge and then rest amount of days can be utilized for practicing theek hai ab examination ka syllabus to samajh mein aa gaya now what it requires to crack this exam theek hai to ek proper plan of action hona chahiye hamare paas right so step by step approach honi chahiye right so what should be the plan of action what should be the steps that we should be taking right now to sabse pehla kaam karna hai learn the fundamentals so we have three sections quantitative aptitude verbal ability and logical reasoning right <laughs> now look at each and every topic okay so first of all don't be overconfident theek hai humne 10 standard tak quantitative aptitude ke most of the areas study kiye hain but hame revise karna hai unhe and we'll have to build up that speed which is required to crack this examination right so give yourself so you have board examinations from uh, mid of february right so give yourself around 20 to 25 days before your board examinations and just go through the fundamentals of each and every area by spending one one and a half hour every day on this okay so i'm not not asking you to spend the entire day so apne pure din mein se like if you have 10 to 12 hours of study time okay so from those 10 to 12 hours just give two hours on daily basis for the next 20 to 25 days right now in this you will be able to learn the fundamentals <coughs> so work on the concepts and just practice 5 to 10 questions based on every concept that you will study okay so you will be able to do almost all the uh, topics of quantitative aptitude wherein you can spend half an hour to 45 minutes on uh, like on daily basis for the next 20 25 days then similar time 40 to 45 minutes on verbal ability and 40 to 45 minutes on logical reasoning it's not compulsory that you will be studying all these uh, sections on daily basis so if today you can take up two of these sections on rotational basis you can work on two two sections or for every day you can pick one section pick up quant finish up two topics then the second day take verbal ability some practice some reading comprehension para jumbles then on the third day pick up logical reasoning wherein you can again finish two topics in a single day sitting of two hours devoting one one hour to every topic right so this is about learning the fundamentals all right now the next step will be make a strong study plan now study plan now we have learned the fundamentals now what after that now things should come in a proper sequence with a strong study plan ahead so after these 20 to 25 days of working on the fundamentals you will enter into your board examination which will consume one month of yours so you will be free by mid of march right now starting mid of march now you should be entering the practice phase right now practice there will be tests right so there will be topic wise test there will be sectional test there will be mock tests right so make a proper study plan and schedule all these things so first thing first work on topic wise test which should be finished in 10 to 15 days all right 
so probably by end of march you should be done with all the topic wise test that will help you in revising those areas that you have uh, learned in the month of january then you can enter into the sectional test and mock papers simultaneously like giving or writing a two or three sectional test in a day and then alternately mock test right so in the month of april you will be working on sectional test and mock test right now it's not just writing these mocks taking these mocks is enough the third step you need to identify your weakness and you need to improve simultaneously and regularly okay so let's say today you have taken one mock test obviously we would, we would make a lot of mistakes right so whatever mistakes we have done whatever questions we have attempted not attempted the questions which we have attempted wrongly look at all these things look at all these questions and identify your weakness right so there will be some strong areas but there will be some topics which you are like from which you are unable to attempt the questions so identify these areas and then improve them in the remaining part of the day right so friends this is the complete plan of action that you need to work on in order to succeed in ip mat 2025 examination right so friends this is all about uh, this section i'll be coming back again and will be helping you to crack this examination best of luck for your preparation ahead i'll see you again bye bye